Hello guys, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to make a slow motion effect also known as bullet time and this is how it looks. Very simple but very powerful. We are using only After Effects built-in capabilities, no need for plugins. So let's begin. File, new, new project and new composition. These values are exactly the width and height of my source video and my frame rate is 60 frames per second. That actually is the same frame rate that my video has. Very important, okay? If your video is 30 frames per second or 24 frames per second then this effect might not work just as good as it should be so the minimum value to make it work nice and smooth is 60 frames per second you can try with 24 or 30 frames per second but as I said it might not be as good as it should be okay so let's begin first of all I'm gonna drag and drop my video here it is. And now, again, I'm going to drag and drop in my timeline. I'm going to right click on my video and choose Time, Enable Time Remapping. This will allow us to enlarge the time of our video in the timeline on the fly. Okay? Now we're going to search for Time Warp. In the effects panel here it is drag and drop it into the video very nice and these are the settings check this out the speed is 50 I'm gonna start with 100 so 100 is normal speed okay I'm going to zoom in here now I'm gonna find a place where I think the effect will work just fine for example here so we go to effects, time warp, and we click on the speed keyframe. And now we have a speed 100 at this frame. Now I'm gonna move it here and make another one. You can click here and double click. And I'm gonna choose 2% two, two of the overall speed. In other words, this is very slow. So I'm moving the timeline to see where it can fit and I'm gonna drag this over here a little bit. Uh -huh, that's nice. Now I'm gonna make another keyframe. Click here and to finish the move I'm gonna make another keyframe. Double click on here and speed 100% again. So, the video starts just fine, and check here, 100, and now it's beginning to get slower and slower, until we get to 2%, and this is the movement in slow motion, and now we get back to 100. Very good, so let's render it to see how it works. As you can see, there are some weird details coming up here. This is part of the effect. As you can see in vector detail, the program makes calculations to create frames that were never there. So this is part of it. I'm gonna disable the sound. And let's test this out. Very nice. So this is it. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.